Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you what comes inside the Raspberry Pi B Plus Ultimate Starter Kit made by Canakit. Let's get this video started. I'll have a link to this product in the description. As I'm filming this, this product costs $69.99. So I just want to let you guys know so you guys know what you can expect out of your 70 bucks. So okay, so the kit will come with the Raspberry Pi Model B+. You can see it has 4 USB and it actually uses micro SD card instead of SD card. It also comes with two hit sinks and you connect that to the, uh, the processors. Alright, the next component is the micro SD card. It comes with a 8 gig micro SD card with noobs pre-installed so you don't have to do you don't need a Windows or uh, any other computer to set your Raspberry Pi with Raspbian. Here is what the case looks like. Uh, the Raspberry Pi B Plus model fits in with this case uh, very well. You can see everything worked for me at least. I had a pretty good experience with it and you do have the cutout for your GPIO pin so you can plug in the ribbon cable. Here is the micro USB power supply. This is actually 2.5 amp. So I would recommend using this over your desktop uh, USB out or anything like that. It comes with a six fit HDMI cable for your video out. Here is the Wi-Fi dongle that it comes with. It works with the Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure if it works with Windows or Mac yet. I haven't tested that out yet. Here is the breadboard. I will have a link in the description uh, of a video that I created that shows you how to turn a LED on using the kit that is uh, included in the Canna kit. Here is the GPIO ribbon cable. It will make sense a bit later. Now here is the GPIO to breadboard interface board. So here is how it works. So you plug this into the breadboard and then you see the GPIO pins right there. Well, you plug that in to the Raspberry Pi. So this is how this kit is set up. Here is the reference card. Uh, you can see what pin uh, corresponds with what Broadcom like GPIO 17 what uh, corresponds with it. You get two push button switches. If you guys want to know how this works, uh, please comment down below. I might make a video about how this works. So you get one RGB LED. I still haven't figured out how it works. So you get two red LEDs, two green LEDs, and two yellow LEDs, and two blue LEDs. Okay, let's recap. Here are all the LEDs that Canakit comes with. You got one RGB LED, two red LEDs, two green LEDs, two yellow LEDs, and two blue LEDs. So it comes with the resistor color table that helps you determine what kind of resistor and what ohm does the resistor have. Uh, it comes with 10 220 ohm resistor and 5 10,000 ohm resistor. It comes with lots of jumper cables from small ones to big ones. So here is, you can see I have connected a short jumper cable to my breadboard. One from I think GPIO 19 and one going to another part of the breadboard. I have a link in the description to a video that I made that shows you how to set up an LED using uh, the components of the Canna kit. Uh, I really recommend that you watch that video. I do have few comments about this video. I do know the color correction is kind of messed up. I filmed at night. I can't really do much about that instead, uh, but or get a light, I guess. And yeah, if you guys want more Raspberry Pi content, be sure to thumbs up. Anyway, guys, thank you.